Hey, it's me, Crystal, and today I'm going to show you how to make this woven square knot sennet. So we're going to start with eight cords. So I have four cords attached to a little dowel with a lark's head knot. And we're going to put the two on each side aside and then start with the four in the middle. And we're just going to tie a regular square knot. And if you don't know how to tie a square knot, that's OK. I have a tutorial showing how to do that that I will link to down in the description. So here I'm tying the first half of my square knot and then I'm going to go ahead and tie the second half. Then you're just going to put those cords down and then what we're going to do is take the far right cord and you're going to bring it over the next cord over and then you're going to bring it under the ones we just used as a working cord. And there we go. That's how we're going to do the right side. And then on the left side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab the far left cord and it's going to come over the cord next to it and then under the previous working cord that we used on the left. And then you're going to tie your next square knot using those cords as your working cords. All right, and then I'm going to get everything straightened back out again. And you're going to take the far right cord, bring it over and then under. And then take the far left cord and bring it over and then under. And then tie your next square knot with those cords as your working cords. All right, you see it's starting to form that woven look on the sides. So now you're just going to continue this for as long as you want your sennet to be. So over and then under on the right side and over and under on the left side. So you can just continue tying square knots like this for as long as you want and you'll get this pretty woven braided pattern on the sides. And I like to use this for plant hangers. It looks really pretty when you have a lot of cords that you're working with, like, like in this example, eight cords. And I actually have a pattern that I'm working on that will be out soon for a plant hanger using this technique. And here you can see this is one of the arms of a plant hanger, the one that I'm actually working on. And it's just a fun way to kind of change up the look of your plant hangers or whatever project you're working on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching!